So let's talk about your beingness and how your beingness affects your actions, your external reality. It brings you actually everything you want. And uh, how if you're not working on your beingness and you're trying to get beautiful women, money, success, whatever it is, without fixing the beingness, you're, you're just pounding your head against the wall. So let's dive right in. Let's talk about that. Well, you guys know I'm coming to you from Austin, Texas. We might get some wind noise here and there. The wind's kicking up. There's the beautiful uh, Texas state flag. You can see the beauty around here. Just got here a couple days ago. Gonna be here for about a month before moving on to Romania for a couple workshops, but just thought I'd show you the, uh, the view. Oh, we got a friend over here. Hold on one sec. I just ducked under the water. He's gone. Got a little turtle popping up over here. I was trying to show you guys, but let's dive on. Uh, let's dive in. <laughs> let's get to the topic. Uh, by the way, uh, make sure to like, subscribe, and share. Do all that cool stuff. And make sure to comment if you see something that uh, inspires you that you can share with somebody else to help uh, grow the group and, uh, and uh, grow our knowledge together. Anyways, um, I want to talk about beingness. Beingness to me is everything. And I wish I had started working on my beingness back in the beginning. I wish I'd worked on the way I felt at the core level deep down inside. When people talk about identity shifting, they're largely talking about their beingness, shifting their identity, the way they're being inside in relationship to the topic at hand, what they want to create. If you want to create an amazing dating life, you can't go out and get women feeling like you're less than the women, feeling like you're smaller than the women. And this is a real uh, test that I like to use sometimes. I ask men sometimes, you know, when you see the women out there, when you look at the women, do you feel smaller than them? Like in your internal self-image, do you feel bigger than them? Do you feel like deserving of them? Do you feel like you can bring value to their lives? Because if you don't, then you're trying to get, hear this, you're trying to get power from them. A lot of men, they, they, they want this beautiful woman on their arms. I want this stunner on my arms. And she really looks at me with admiration. She's turned on for me sexually. It's all about them and what they're getting from the woman. That tells me that they think the woman has all the power, that she has all the power and he has to get something from her to feel good enough about himself. And then he has to display it to the world. Stand next to me. Uh, there's that turtle, if you can see it over there. Don't know if you can. And, uh, but if we have to get something from her, you know, I have to get her power, I have to get her standing next to me, I have to get everybody to see it. And when you think about it, that's kind of fucked up, not just for her, but for yourself. Who wants to feel that way? I don't want to feel less than women. I built this whole business on, you don't have to feel like you're less than women. You don't. I promise each one of you, you're valuable enough on your own and you don't need women to ultimately have a sense of value. You can find your sense of value inside yourself and then invite women into that reality. And that's ultimately what I want to see for each one of you. So as you think about this, women are, are, perceived in today's society as these beautiful, valuable creatures, right? So beautiful, so sexy, so this, so that. And so many men today that come to me feel like they're less than the women, feel like they don't deserve as much as the women. But what I've noticed is guys that are really good with women, the guys that are natural, I don't care if they're short, chubby, good looking or not, they don't see women as more valuable than them. Matter of fact, it doesn't even cross their mind. It's like this idea that is she more valuable to me? No. Why would she be? She's just another human being. There's a sense of enjoyment of the woman. There's a sense of appreciation of the woman. There's a sense of, like when I asked Eddie recently, one of my clients, what do you think of women? And he went, oh, I love women. They're so beautiful. And the funny thing is that's his beingness inside. There's no sense that I'm less than women. There's just a sense that I'm enjoying these beautiful women, that they're amazing to me. They're something beautiful and they feel that coming off it when he talks to them they feel the excitement they feel the turn on they feel the the curiosity coming off of them they feel the appreciation because he's not worried about himself being less than the women and that's ultimately what we're talking about here do you see yourself as less than them and if you do then that's where you need to shift that beingness you need to shift the way you feel about you and I want to invite you into this idea that you can start to do that. It doesn't happen immediately. It might take months. It might take weeks. It might happen in days. But it's ultimately going to take time. Now, I always tell people, start with a month and start shifting the way you see yourself and feel yourself internally. 
And then at the end of that month, let's see how it feels. Let's see how you feel inside. So you want to paint an image. What is it that you want to feel around women? And I want to give you a warning here. This is where everybody goes wrong. I was actually reading some, this is what inspired this video. I was reading somebody's description of that yesterday and it was all about what he was getting from the women. And that's not what we want to feel. So let's dive in a little deeper now. What is it that you want to feel about women? Well, for a lot of guys, they focus, and, and I had this recently with a guy. He sent me a description. I had him write down what does he visually see with himself around women? What does he hear? other people say about him when he's with women? What is he, his internal dialogue? What's he saying when he's around these beautiful women? And it really became very telling. Also, what does he feel? And when we started with the visuals, the visuals were all about the women praising him, chasing him. I, I'm dating the most hot, beautiful, sexy women better than I've ever dreamed of and they hang all over me kind of shit, right? And the women are constantly respecting me and loving me. But nowhere in there was how he felt about the women, how he enjoyed the women in the visuals. You see, and I would change that immediately. There's a sense that you are exchanging value with another human being. And if you walk up and you just want them to give you all their value, and you're not bringing any value as a man, and you don't know even what it looks like to bring value as a man, why should they give you their time? So when you start to change the way you look at this, and you start to say, I walk up and, and there's a sense that I look in deep into her with my masculine presence and I enjoy her immensely and I feel that enjoyment run through my entire body and in return she gets curious, right? That's different. Now there's an exchange of energy. When I'm with her I love to inspire her to be her best and by doing so she inspires me to be my best, right? That could be another thing you say. When we look into each other's eyes, we can feel the sexual turn on as we polarize each other. There's a you and a her in this picture. And your beingness will dictate whether or not you're comfortable bringing your value to her. Do you feel you have value as a man? When I stand in front of her, my presence really turns her on. And I can feel that presence through every part of my body. So much so that when she gets turned on, I feel it run back through my body. You see, there's that exchange of energy again. There's a constant energetic exchange happening. And if you're out of alignment with your own beingness, you can't have that energetic exchange. You can't solidify that energetic exchange. You'll be constantly chasing your power from her. So what we want to do with beingness is we want to solidify the power within you so that you can become ultimately giving to her because you need nothing from her. I don't need your beauty, I enjoy your beauty. That's the best way to put it. I don't need your sexual turn on because I have my own sexual turn on, but together we amplify each other's sexual turn on and have a great time together, right? I don't need you to love me, but I appreciate your loving me so much so that my love for you expands, right? Do you hear the difference in that? You know, so what I want to inspire you to do is to start to think about who you're being in front of women. When you shut your eyes and you imagine yourself standing in front of the woman of your dreams, do you feel smaller than her in your imagery? Do you feel less than her? Do you feel like you're chasing her power to compensate? If you are, then that needs to change. So I'm going to invite you into a simple exercise. I want you to write a goal, a simple goal. And you could be money, it could be women, it could be business, it could be anything. But in, uh, for women, it could be something as simple as, oh, I enjoy meeting beautiful women every day. When I look at them, my heart opens and I drop into my turn on and I just truly appreciate their presence. Watching them get dressed up to turn men on makes me feel wonderful inside because I know they deep down inside want to inspire me to be my best. Something like that, right? When I get around beautiful women as they work so hard to look beautiful, to dress beautiful, to go out and flow for me. I drop into my appreciation and I relax and just take them in, right? There's a sense that beautiful women all want to dance for my masculine. And so I give them my masculine in return. I give them my presence in return. I give them my personal power and confidence in return, which all comes from the body. And as you learn to feel the body more and you begin to feel these vibrations in the body, your own sense of heart, appreciation. I truly appreciate beautiful women. I enjoy beautiful women. They're beautiful. 
as I drop into the stomach, my power. Oh, I love to talk dirty to beautiful women. I love to be solid and lead. And I love to be directed with beautiful women. That comes from the stomach. I love to say, damn, you look good, woman. And I own that shit, right? Then I love to drop down to my turn on, which is around the hips, lower in the body. And I, and I get really a little bit more sexual down there. I'm like, damn, you're sexy, woman. Look, look at you. There's something amazing about you. I truly enjoy it when you dress like that for me. Matter of fact, spin around for me. Turn around. I want to see you. Oh, that's so sexy. When you start learning to flow from that direction, and there's a sense that you are getting some value from her and then giving it back to her, reflecting her own beauty back to her with no attachment to outcome. I'll say that again, with no attachment to outcome. That's when you begin to truly start to bring value to the women on the approach. I'm walking up to her because I'm enjoying her radiance and I want to take it in for a minute. Like, I just want to take you in. You were something about you. And uh, I don't know what it is, but I just got to be here for a minute and, and meet you. I got to get to know you. And you relax all the way down your whole body. And you feel that enjoyment through the center pillar, through the core, all the way down to the ground, to the feet. And you stand in it and you own it. This is when you become a polarizing mechanism for her. Now, if we were to take this into business for you guys working on business, it's the same basic idea. You see a client and... The truth is I want to help my clients get the best product possible. I want to build trust. I want to build a tight container and I want to be of true value for the client in front of me. I want to make it so that they feel safe working with me as a business and will spread the word to everybody. I'm bringing them value. Then they bring me value in return. And in return, there's a sense that they fee actually feel safe and want to give me their business and want to recommend me to everybody. So there's that sense, there's that exchange going on. So what I'm gonna invite you to do is to write a mission statement. What is your beingness about? Um, I naturally and effortlessly enjoy beautiful women for my entire body. And when I approach them, I go into flow state and turn on from that enjoyment. That's one, one idea, right? Whatever your mission statement is, you can write about business, whatever. Next thing I want you to do is I want you to write visuals. What do the visuals look like of this exchange of energy? Write down the visuals of all of this, okay? And uh, I see myself walking up fully in my body, grounded, relaxed, open-hearted, taking her beauty in as I walk up and say hi. And I see how she receives my radiance and my masculine, lets it in and it actually causes the little girl to come out inside of her. This is a visual, right? You can create any types of visuals you want, but make sure that exchange is there. Then I want you to write down, you can do three, four, or five of those. Then I want you to write down auditory. What are you hearing? Um, for me, like a relationship example would be, uh, he's so good for her. He really inspires her. He really cares about her and takes good care of her, and she does in return. They are a great couple together, right? So it's all about this togetherness energy. And then the third thing I want you to do is what are you hearing in your own head? For the relationship idea, it would be, wow, she's amazing. She was worth the wait. Um, I didn't know there could be somebody this amazing in my life. She's perfect for me and I'm perfect for her. I truly enjoy every moment we spend together and I look forward to seeing her. You know, things like this, thoughts that you have in your head. And then the, the next thing I want you to focus on is what does it feel like? What does it feel like in your body? Warm and fuzzy, uh, you know, is it cuddly? Well, if it's sexual, is it a little hot and steamy? What word feels right for you when you describe the feeling of this? And then the last thing is I want you to give it a, a name. In my case for the relationship, it was home. There's a sense that when I found this woman and it was perfect, the word home came to mind. Home just brings back all those feelings every time I say it. And I want you to cultivate these feelings. The key is that you feel these thoughts, these images, these feelings in your body. You don't just think them intellectually. You feel it with your heart. Do I have love and appreciation? Can I cultivate even 1% of it for the person in front of me? Do I have power? Do I feel my confidence and my ability to lead for my stomach? Do I feel my turn on? Can I feel tingles and endorphins for my turn on? Can I feel my sense of groundedness in the sense that I'm hooked into the earth? 
and I'm here to be a support for this beautiful woman, why she inspires me with her beauty, her feminine, her radiance, her sexuality, her sensuality. And once you nail that and you've got it written down, those categories that I just talked about, then just read it. Read it every day for the next 30 days. Every morning, get in a good mood first, meditate, do some yoga, do some exercise, whatever you need to do, then relax and read it with your heart open. If you have to do some heart walks first, vulnerability walks, which I talk about on this channel, get your heart open and then read it and feel what it feels like. You want to recall up those endorphin responses. Remember, this is programming your beingness, the way you see yourself, the way you feel about yourself. And then after you read it, put it away. Let it go for the day. If you want to read it again, you set a specific time in the evening or the afternoon, you can read it again. But make sure you feel good when you read it and then put it away again. And don't think about it the rest of the day. If you're tending a garden and you planted everything perfectly, you got the right soil, you got everything flowing, right? You don't sit there and stare at the garden waiting for it to grow, telling it to grow, hoping it'll grow. You let it go. You go about your day. You go enjoy food. You go relax. You go enjoy your time with, with other your friends and you, you have a good time and then you let the garden grow and then one day you get up and you see that sapling of a plant or whatever's coming up out of the soil and that's what happens here that's why i want you to give it at least 30 days 30 to 90 days of just reading this idea exploring this idea learning to feel like you deserve this woman and that you're bringing value to her life not trying to get her to bring value to your life. Remember, if it's all about you getting from her, that's selfish. But if you're truly selfish in a healthy way, it's gonna be all about you enjoying her and not needing anything from her, but enjoying it when you get it. It's about you relaxing in your own body and saying, this is perfect out here. I don't need a woman to enjoy this moment right here. But if she shows up, we're just going to amplify each other together. The better you feel about you, the more you enjoy this body right here, the better, more confident, more solid woman you're going to draw. You're going to start to draw women that know how to enjoy their own lives, that know how to be happy. And that's what you really want, right? You don't want a woman that's just chasing you for your money. You want a woman that loves to be with you because you're a solid man, because you can feel. Not perfect. You don't have to be perfect, just solid. Right? You can screw up all you want. That's a whole nother topic, right? But you can be sad, you can be unhappy, you can be angry, as long as you do it all from courage and you're real and you're authentic. Authenticity is the most attractive energy in the world. So as you start to own this body, you're going to develop that sense of authenticity, that sense of realness, that sense of enjoying the moment and the ability to enjoy her, which then polarizes her to want to enjoy you. Remember, you're approaching her. If you're approaching, you're starting everything. So start by offering that enjoyment, that appreciation, that relaxed masculine presence, which then stimulates her to go into her feminine, the giggly little girl, the part of her that wants to dance for you and flow for you and wants to start to parade around and bend over just a certain way for you, wants to glance over her shoulder and toss her hair for you. Remember, <laughs> that's all the stuff she's doing, coiling her hair, smiling at you, looking down a certain way to turn you on, to get you excited. She's doing it because she likes you. She's giving you the gift of her enjoyment when she does that. Appreciate it. Notice it. I always think of my friend Zan, right? A lot of you know who Zan is. And I would see his woman walk through the room and she'd be all primmed up and dressed up for him, looking good because she knows he likes it. She wants to inspire him for the day. And she'll come out looking like this beautiful lady. And she'll go walking through the living room and he'll, he'll be talking to all us guys, doing something. He'll go, wait, 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 wait a minute. And he'll turn to her and go, baby, stop. She'll go, what? Stop, stop. Really important, stop. And he'll go, spin around for me. And she'll spin around. Oh, look at her. Look how beautiful you look. You've, oh, you're killing me. Now you're distracting me from the guys. Go, go, go. Leave the room. And she'll giggle and she'll laugh. Everybody laughs. But that means something. That's you appreciating the beautiful woman and bringing that out of her, inspiring it, like inspiring a, a flower to blossom. And you have to be the type of guy that's in his body, grounded, that can do that. Not a needy guy, not a wanting guy, not a chasing guy, but a guy that lives from courage, a guy that lives from his power, 
yeah, I get angry, but I do it with my courage. I do it with my vulnerability. Yeah, I get scared, but you know what? I have courage to face my fear. Yeah, I get sad, and I have the courage to handle my sadness. That's part of life. And I have the courage to really enjoy my woman and just take her in because I don't need anything from her. Now, where that goes wrong, some of you guys are saying, well, actually, you're really good giving to women, whatever that bullshit is. That's because you're needy when you do it. You want something in return. You're trying to create an energetic um, unconscious contract, right? And you're trying to, a covert contract. You're trying to manipulate. You're saying, I'm giving you this if you give me that, rather than just enjoying and letting go. Just like the garden with your subconscious thoughts. Just plant it, read it, enjoy it, let it go. The better you get at enjoying life, the better you get at really relaxing and taking in these perfect moments and surrendering each and every day, the more life is going to chase you and give you everything you want. And that's super true. So uh, hopefully you enjoy this video. I can talk about more. I can talk about doing it here in nature. I can talk about doing it under tension in front of beautiful women. I can talk about it, doing it on a date. We, there's a lot of ways we can go. So what I'd love to hear from you is what you guys want more of. Do you want me to go deeper in this topic and how it relates to uh, being right in front of a beautiful woman? Do you want to know more about different aspects of tension? I heard somebody say, I saw somebody's comment the other day, they want to know more about meditation. Uh, a certain aspect, they want me to do some more guided meditations. What do you want more of? And I want to get more of that on the channel. So just let me know, put it in the comments. If you have any experience with this, uh, especially if you're gonna do it over the next 30 days to 90 days, put it in the comments too. I'd love to hear that. If you wanna write out your whole script and put it in there, put it in there. Let's, let's all get a conversation started. With that said, remember only the confident really live. This is Brian coming to you from Austin. Have a beautiful day and uh, I'll see you in the next video.